UN Women in partnership with Procter & Gamble and Afrogens held a private sector meeting on affirm affirmative procurement in Nigeria to promote gender responsive procurement as a critical part of the solution to gender equality and women empowerment. Fumi Najafe files in this report. UN Women in partnership with Procter & Gamble and Afrogens organized a private sector meeting on affirmative procurement in Nigeria. The event engaged female entrepreneurs, the government, and private sector. The meeting which held in Lagos sought practical solutions in access to procurement opportunities with the aim of promoting gender equality and women's empowerment. The conversation is not just focused on how we empower women here, but how we part of global uh, agendas and global frameworks. That's why the role of the, women, the UN women here is very important because UN women can ensure that Nigeria is, is part of the success stories in this area. The panel sessions focus on specific micro details to capture the impact for women by identifying the number of women, the sectors, the value chain, ensuring collaboration and access to funding. It was also agreed that the private sector must show commitment to the affirmative procurement by making it their culture, and women in position must make it less cumbersome for other women to beat. Some of the solutions highlighted were advocacy for women-owned businesses, capacity building, a fund pool, platform for actions, and the need to improve on networking. Social capital, which is a network of, uh, it could be similar businesses that it can potentially tap into. Now, why the networks are critical is because as we being professional uh, procurement uh, executives, we typically would reach out to these networks where opportunities for businesses arise, opportunities for bids, opportunities for inquiries, as well as business allocations. And we are then limited to the pool we have, as well as the pool of suppliers within the, within the net, women uh, business networks. It's very limiting because we see that quite a large number of women are not represented in these groups. They do not have visibility, so they do not show up, except you have a one-on-one -on -one experience. The conversation about affirmative procurement will not be complete without the national gender policy in Nigeria, which should establish a clear vision and make commitments to guide the process of gender mainstreaming. Nigeria's national gender policy speaks of 35% representation, and I believe that uh, at some stage it will need to be revised to be brought in line with what the AU is advocating for. The meeting ended with a positive outlook on not just the role of the government and the private sector, but the role of the women themselves. Fumi Unajefe, reporting for PLOS TV Africa.